she's unlikely to be disturbed here. The farmer who would have harvested the olives is long gone. So too the cork oak woodland that once surrounded the abandoned farmstead, probably cleared during the 1980s, when EU subsidies encouraged a switch to more intensive crops like maize. At the same time, wine drinking was becoming more and more popular, with a corresponding increase in demand for cork bark. The producers of cork stoppers could hardly keep pace, and in some factories, standards of quality and cleanliness fell. As a result, complaints of tainted or corked wine rose and opened the way for new plastic or metal alternatives, marketed as cleaner and more modern than cork stoppers like these. By early 2000, the cork industry had lost almost a quarter of its market to this new competition. And some landowners, fearing the worst, continued to replace their cork oaks with cereal crops. But on these dry, impoverished soils, many such projects were doomed to failure. Once felled, cork woodland is very difficult to restore. A complex ecosystem such as the Montado takes time, knowledge and patience to recreate, as Francisco knows well. There's a Portuguese proverb that says, vinhas das minhas, olivais dos meus pais, in English, this means that there's vineyards of mine, olive groves of my parents, and montados of my ancestors. As that shows the time it takes to, to have a montado established. Carefully controlled plantations like this are how modern farmers try to recreate their cork woodlands. But there was a simpler way in the past. One of the good memories I have from my childhood is that uh, walking in the Montado, which was my, with my grandfather, he would just look for a, an acorn. He would pick it up and with the heel of his boot, just do like this, put it back like this, and after pick up uh, a piece of uh, with thorns like this and just put it on top of, of the acorn just to protect it. It would choose a place where there were no cork trees and uh, hopefully next year we will have a nice sprouting uh, young cork tree in that place. Look, here, here's a beautiful acorn that uh, has, has germinated. Uh, you see, uh, hopefully this acorn uh, and 20, 30 years' time, we'll be giving some cork. Uh, I, I won't be here to, to harvest it, but I hope my sons you know, or my grandsons will be here for it. <laughs> Let's hope it's here. 